Hello America, this is Call of Duty Goddess. Today is April 4th, 2016. I have a very interesting interview here that I've split up into two pieces. I'm interviewing Michael Emery and Vicki Davis. Michael Emery is the owner of TVOI News, The Voice of Idaho. He is also owner of The Voice of North Idaho, TVOI News. And they also have the voice of Grant County, Oregon. Now I'd like to point out to you on their TVOI News Voice of Idaho page that they are not corporately controlled and they could use some support. They could also use, if you own a business and need advertising, they could use some sponsors as well because it's my opinion that we lost our country because of our media and we've got to get it back and the only way we're going to get it back is to spread the truth Michael Emery Becky and Vicki are all doing that so if you could push the donate button or spread the word hopefully they can get some more sponsors for their media outlet that would be great now the other person that's in this interview is Vicki Davis. Vicki Davis's websites are the Technocratic Tyranny. She does very very in-depth research. I've used one of her articles to expose the power grid that is owned by and controlled by a foreign entity. So here is her Technocratic Tyranny website. She also has her older website that's not updated, but you can still get some wonderful information from it called Channeling Reality. If you are a YouTuber or a researcher, this is like a one-stop place to go. Her research is incredible and very thorough. So now, lastly, in the first part of the interview, the first 30 or 40 seconds, I was having technical difficulties. So if you could overlook that, I would really, really appreciate it. So let's get started with this interview with Vicki Davis and Michael Emery. This is Michael Emery. Uh, what is your news channel? Uh, we own The Voice of Idaho, TVOINews.com. Okay. Uh, also, we own the voice of NorthIdaho.com, and now we have a new news agency called the Voice of Grant County, Oregon, and there's also a Facebook that helps to facilitate it as well. Oh, I'll put all the links up too, so we can see them. So that'll be nice. All right. So what's your plan there, Michael? Uh, to be the teller of men's deeds to inform to. Uh, educate to find solutions to the court of public opinion. Well, you go to the First Amendment. That's what you do. And uh, our founding fathers, that was the battle, and it was the pen was mightier than the sword. And, and so uh, there was a new invention called the printing press. It was the internet of the day. And the king realized that through that information mechanism, he would lose his narrative, and they would, be on, they would uh, not be on the moral high ground. And every time in history, humanity was able to find out who is harming them, they would find solutions. And that's something the king could not have. So there you go. So what do we, how do we do this? What do we do? We make committees. We... Um... You have, you said something about a, um, a committee that vets information for the printing press or? Well, or, let, let me, me uh, basically our founding fathers had problems because there was like 20 printing presses around. And when they'd go hundreds of miles to meetings, there would be this dissension amongst each other. There was even duels because people were uh, uh, informed on one thing and informed on another, but it was a psyops the king was playing by getting people to infight. So they said, look, we here's the here's the facts, and they got tired of it, so they formed a committee of correspondence. It was kind of like a, a better business bureau for media at the day. So if it and in the areas, if the information came in before they passed it on, they checked it out for its truth. Of course, it took a little bit of 
time to do that back then, you know, horseback and everything else. So um, if you wanted your news out, uh, you had to make sure that it was vetted and sourced. And that's what we have to do. We can't go use opinions. I mean, opinions can get you to, to the point of solutions and the answers to things because that's part of an investigation, but you don't put the cart before the horse. And right now we have a lot of opinions coming out of the mainstream, if you want to call it, like the Oregonian, which is which is a psyops where they're trying. The battle is the court of public opinion. The government literally is the media, because that's where we hear about the government. So we have to become the government. And you know, uh, Putin came out and it, and and blew the whistle on ISIS, stating that. Uh, ISIS was a creation of secret societies and, and, and CIA and everything else that was funded, aided, and embedded and created by the, and they, they were contractors. And then he said at this, my hope is that the alternative media in the United States becomes the government like it has in Mother Russia. And wow. that's, that is what he said. That's a big deal. Uh, I didn't know he said that, but I did. I did hear a speech when he was talking about um, the uh, contractors and stuff, which is enlightening to me. But these committees, um, how do you suggest forming them? Like Facebook groups, or do you get in contact with you, or just get a bunch of people together? How does that work? Common sense is how it works. Here, look at it like this. First and foremost, folks, break open your little pocket constitution, okay? And you read read this. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of a religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. The reason they put that in the very first is because the only sense of news that came out was through the Catholic Church or some priest or something because they're the only ones that could read or write because they had such control. And that's what created the Inquisition and the horrors from Europe that everybody was escaping from. Okay, let's go on. Or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. All right. So they wanted to make sure you you wouldn't get, you know, hung or something if you decided you were Jewish or just Christian or whatever. Or abridging the freedom of speech. All right. Or of the press or the right of the people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievance. So it gives you a sequence, all right? The freedom of speech, first and foremost. You can talk about anything as long as it doesn't have harmful intent because by the way, that's the only crime. Harmful intent to another is the only crime. Um, um, then to the press. So. Everybody starts conversing and they see problems. Maybe it's the BLM, whatever. So it becomes news and the press reports on what the people are saying. Okay. Or the right of the people to peacefully assemble. Once the press works with the people on the freedom of speech and the court of public opinion, they start peacefully assembling to, to, to address and to complain. And if the courts do not listen to them, and to petition the government for a redress of grievance. There you go. And these committee of safeties are a wonderful idea, but that's but they came after the First Amendment. That's why the Second Amendment is the Second Amendment. Uh, the committee of correspondence was to make sure that the news was vetted and sourced so people could make an informed decision. The, the criminality within our nation right now is solely responsible because of the press, because of people like that, that are in the Oregonian. They are committing the most grievous of crimes, and it's treason. Because people, uh, we exposed in, in, which, in Boise, Idaho, Channel 7 on the gubernatorial uh, uh, elections uh, where they excluded uh, a gentleman. and. Uh, what was his name? John Bujak. Uh, John, where they excluded John Bujak with uh, uh, the with the very last um, um, uh, debate, and they and they said that they had to talk to the Secretary of State. 
we found out that not only by recorded conversation with the Secretary of State, not only what was there no reason for them to say that because he had fulfilled his obligations, they never called. Oh my gosh. Right. And we exposed that and put an article out. Our computer got swiped. We got our website got shut down, all kinds of stuff. But we survived through that. And then I interviewed Lawrence Denny with the Secretary of State's office, which everybody wanted him to get elected. And I interviewed him. You can find that on The Voice of Idaho on our YouTube channel. And I asked him point blank. I said, sir, this is what happened in the last election. If I did something like that, would uh, I get in trouble? He said, well, you probably would, yes. And I said, well, don't you think that there should be an investigation on that? And he says, ah, well, I caught him. He said, ah, that was before I got in office. But I promise you nothing like that will happen on my watch. Well, that's just like somebody saying uh, that's um, that, that becomes a homicide investigator. Well, there was a murder last week, but eh, I wasn't in office then. Right. You know, that's the vi blatant violation of the RICO Act. If you lie to the American people, uh, and and that is that is causing harmful intent to another to the most grievous of factors. Look at this, Hillary Clinton. Has a uh, has been in violation of TK security clearance uh, violations to the most highest of levels, and she's running for president. And the and the media, anybody in the media that supports her, they they're committing a crime. They literally are. Right. Because, yes. Yeah. So, anyways, anyways. Uh, I hope that answers some of my questions. I know that's a little long winded there. No, no, I think it's important to give the history and, and the surrounding about this this committee thing. It's especially when you when you say that the um, in the Harney County, that committee of safety, that they put the cart before, before the horse. It's a good thing. And you're not saying anything wrong about that. Neither am I. But to get the true and proper and correct information out is more important so more people can make better informed decisions on what they're learning and see that's why this thing with uh, the Oregonian oh my gosh and what they did to Sheriff Palmer you know I, I just could not believe it so pff, there's well. just so much that's that's I think they should be in jail for that because I think they have a responsibility because they are in the press. But I don't know, you know. What what you really have um, is a um, it's it's an honor bound responsibility if you're to report the news. There there are rules, and the rules basically are this: make sure that you have sources that you that you and that. You, if you are found in your news article that it's not right, you put a retraction. What the Committee of Safe Correspondence, excuse me, what the Committee of Correspondence is going to do is hold accountable people like the Oregonian and if some, and not the newspaper itself, but the writers the, the, of the story. And if the writer of that story, um, doesn't put a retraction in the same place that that story came out, like if it's front page, it has to be put there, then forever and a day, if they ever put any other story out, I don't care if it's good or not, they will be immediately reminded through Facebook and hunted down like dogs. That's the that's called the court of public opinion. It's happening right now. You've been doing it, Teresa. Yeah, and oh my gosh, the comments that, that people are saying they've been doing this for years and thanking me so much. I mean, this is this is terrible what they're doing to Sheriff Palmer. And Sheriff Palmer is a good man. I don't know how he's not freaking out over this. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, what's happening in, in Grant County is that he's he wants to keep it simple work with his people there and uh he understands that i mean this is i mean he's won four elections and they and they have paper ballots there by the way so they they have a real election by the way, okay 
because everyone knows everyone. That's one county that's probably one of the freest around, but they still have a lot of criminals. Uh, there was a huge fire last year, and, and Tad Hap is, is the president of the, um, of the Forestry Oversight Committee that, that is part of, part of it, the local people holding accountable the Forestry Commission and the BLM. And 10 years ago, Tad was say, telling them in a big uh, meeting, and then they, they went on a um, tour, and he was telling them what they need to do to keep a situation from happening. And it's been a fight ever since then, because it seems like everything that he told them they shouldn't do, they've been doing. After the fire, and just a week ago, we discussed it, and I said, Tad, these people are evil enough that they thought, you know, there's a professor right here of this forest and the fires and what not to do. He just told us what to do to destroy them. That's, That's how the citizen, citizen people are. Uh, yeah, and you know, I've seen it on like Les Zates's, uh, uh, uh Facebook. I mean, these people come in and I, I am not a big social media fan. I don't do it much, but I have. And I'm, I've never seen in Patriot groups people getting together and plotting and planning to infiltrate a group on Facebook like they're doing. I saw it. I have pictures of it. I mean, you know, I would do a video on it, but I have to take a break from that nasty slop because it's so disgustingly dirty what these people are doing. And most of them are lucky that I'm not using and showing who they really are. They're very fortunate that I have the decency to block out their names. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. just... <laughs> yeah. Well, my job and anybody that gets into doing this news has to have... They have to realize that it's, it's a service to humanity. No different than being a soldier. Call of Duty Goddess, you've done a good job. Uh, what you've been doing. My, my wife, Becky, she's a soldier. I'm a soldier, Vicki Davis. Uh, I think that she's she's on here too. I'd like her to put the mail input here shortly. But what my job, me personally, my job in Grant County is to get in their face and take all the slings. I'm going to ask for them to send their arrows to me. You know, um, you want you want to attack anybody? Attack me. You know, because I'm not going to give up. I, I, I'm going to ha hold them accountable to what they said, and if they don't retract it, then they've lost all authority. And I'll and forever in a day, that's the first thing that'll come up, and that will be the mission, the call to action to anyone, is to is to remind them of their discredit. Absolutely, that that is so wow. That's wonderful, and people like Vicky Davis. Oh my gosh, amazing, and Becky. Wow, it, you guys do great work, and I'm just, I feel honored to just be talking to you guys. But um, it's so important what you're doing out there, and I really appreciate it. And I remember seeing you when you first started, you know, when you first started your YouTube. I think it might have been the first or second video you did. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you know, to see someone else in there in, in Harney County and stuff. And I've never seen anything come out from you but the truth, and it's so wonderful, you know? And uh, uh, The reason we get the truth is because of people like Vicki Davis and a, and a team. I mean, we've, we've got 20-some writers and a whole bunch of investigators that volunteer their time for, with no pay. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And one thing, that we would have had a lot more videos out, but they were attacking us right and left. They would not, I could not upload a single video hardly. You know that video of when the 3% rolled up on the FBI? That, that was, was my, my footage. Really? Oh yeah, my gosh. That footage. And I couldn't get it out and I gave it to Pete Santilli. He made 10 grand off of that. Wow. Yeah, yeah that, that video has been seen 10 million times. Oh yeah. Oh and yeah, that was... You know, and and uh, that's okay. I, 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 if I was here for the money and the greed or something like that, then I'd make a big stink of it. I'm just glad it got out. 
But when I jumped out of the vehicle, I was the first one to jump out because I was the embedded reporter for the 3%. Okay, like you would any other news guy that, that would be embedded with any type of group. And so I jumped out with my camera and I had all the M16s aimed at me. And I said, whoa, well, whoa, well, media. But also I've worked with a lot of teams training them on weapons and they'll have little Susie pop up and some criminal pop up and you know they're pop up targets and then they'll have media pop up and they'll get a higher gig if they shoot media than anyone else <laughs> wow. yeah. so i screamed media and i had tvoi news flag on my camera and they they lowered their weapons and that gave them time to go talk to them in a peaceful way wow that that's amazing it really is so everybody needs to get their butts together and stop being wusses, because it took me a couple years to, to get up the courage to start making YouTube videos. Anything you do, make sure you vet it and get it from a good source. And see, that's what makes me angry, because as a YouTuber and doing my research, I rely heavily on people like you, Vicky, Becky, to write accurate and accountable things you know and that's my source that I use because I source everything I do and if I give my opinion I state that's that's my opinion because that's a big responsibility I feel just like you and when the Oregonian puts out these slanderous outright lie I mean I don't know how they're not in court having the, the pants suit off of them well, the reason they're not in court is because Zet, that less kid, I guess that's his name. Um, I seen him running around, and I thought he was FBI or CIA when I first seen him. <coughs> okay, and you know what? I bet I'm right. The guy works basically for the Southern Poverty Law Center. He, uh, um, and I bet if you dug in his, in his, in his past, you'd find some interesting things about his associations. Um, I'm not anti-Semitic in any way, but the real Jewish people are, are, oh, I'm sorry. The real Jewish people are persecuted by their Zionist government that basically are Nazis. The rabbis are saying their government is nothing but Nazis. Our, the, the biggest, most evil people in our government are dual citizens. I mean, it's, it, it, and, and so why is that? It's not about some race or religion or anything else. It's a group of people that have taken over all our governments. Okay. Yeah. And, 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 and Obama, I get sick every time I hear somebody complain about Obama because he's nothing but a puppet. He's the best sales closer they could ever find like a, on a, in a car salesman. Uh, and while we're slinging our arrows at him, they're laughing all the way to the bank because it took the same people that elected Bush to get him in office. Right. It's a game. It's, it's a sick, sick, sick game that we continue this, this right-left paradigm. We need to start reporting the news, reporting it accurately, and holding them accountable in a court of public opinion. And then if they, just like with the Hammonds, this whole situation could have turned out differently if we would have, instead of taking the Malheur Wildlife Refuge, went directly from that march to the fairgrounds like we were going to and, uh, and elect a grand jury of investigation because that was the next, that was the next phase. And, and, I'm not, and, and, it, and that turned out to, with the Malheur Wildlife Refuge takeover to be something that we could capitalize on. And, and, and I'm not saying it's wrong and I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that we have to win this media war. And, and, and if we don't, uh, it's going to be a more painful attitude adjustment because they've already lost. Oh, yeah. And it starts with us. You want to do YouTube? I am the worst technologically advanced. I can't work. I can barely work my cell phone, but I can work a screencast o -matic and I can push the upload button. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then you'll learn from there. So, I mean, right? You can, it is. You can post on Facebook. It's so many things and make sure that it's vetted and, and true. You know, and if it's your opinion, state it's your opinion, because that's important. 
Well, and have a thick enough skin, folks. You know, you can't get it right all the time. I will. I I appreciate it if somebody points out something that we've got, if we've got wrong, because that's what we want them to do. Please let us know so we can get it right. We're nobody's perfect, but where you, you make the mistake is if you put something out there, and then somebody says, "Hey, don't make a threat. That's not good," because some people will do that, and that's you, you can't do that. Hold them accountable to their action. Yes. But if you if somebody brings forth something that says, hey, how about this? This is a good example. They were Am and Bundy was handed the keys to the wildlife refuge. Now, that could be that could be uh, was he physically handed the keys or was, did they leave the keys on the desk and leave it open with prior knowledge? And they might as well have handed them the keys. That's what their intent was. And they and they meant to say that, but they didn't express it far enough, so people got a misunderstanding. We got to be clear when we put our articles together as well. Yeah, that's important. You know, I've I've like looked at some of my past videos and some things I wish I could go back and change. You know, but I try to learn from it and try to express myself more clearly. You know, I I understand what you're saying there. But yeah, that's a big deal to, to get the information out there. And boy, I can see on just my YouTube, there aren't many of the opposition. There really isn't. And the the people that are, that are I call them sock puppets, because it's probably one person that has five different accounts, you know. And they'll hit you and, and cuss and you delete their post enough with their nastiness and cussing. Well, they won't come back anymore. But if you, if somebody has an opposition to what you're saying, if you talk about it like an adults, well, I mean, I think that's a wonderful thing. Just have an adult discussion. Don't get on there and cuss people and stuff. That's, that's not right. Let me give people a little education on how to, how to deal with trolls. They're easy to spot. And so you bring out the most, when you, whenever you wanted to win debate, you make sure that what you enter into the debate, you it, it, that you have all the evidence in the world. I mean, there's no way that it couldn't be, you know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a uh, geographical report or something like that. Uh, geological report with the, in the ground out here in Harney County, on the survey showing that there's all kinds of uranium ore here or something and you get them to to try to bring out the weakest point of your argument and then you put out your source here it is okay and get them to respond to a point in that in that source that you gave them and if they they'll come back sp sputtering on something else and you say oh wise one this is what's on the debate table. What about this? We cannot go any further until you respond to this. If, then they'll come out and cuss and stuff. Then you come back and say, I would like to thank a wise one for giving me the opportunity to not only give this information, put the link in there, but some expanded information right here. Thank you so much to give me the opportunity to educate more people. And they will run and you'll never see them again. That, that, that's amazing. That's wonderful. I mean, I'm sitting here laughing because Les Zates did the exact same thing to me. He had somebody put out a hit piece saying that I threatened him. And, and I think the title of the article was Sheriff Palmer condones threats against reporter. And I, I, I did a video on it. I didn't threaten him. It was titled, the title was uh, YouTuber Threats Less Zates, and there was nothing about a threat in the article. But, I mean, what it was is to, it was to get your focus off of the topic at, at hand, which was his lies that he printed about Sheriff Palmer. So, I mean, he not only set himself up as an idiot, but... I was able to use that article that he did, the hit piece on me, to learn and educate other people of how, you know, how much of a liar he is. 
It was amazing. It was wonderful, and I thanked him for it, too. I mean, it just goes to show what kind of people we're dealing with. Well, one of the things that um, um, I, I appreciate about these uh, buffoons like the or like Zest and the rest of them in the Oregonian is, is that look at the comment sections, even on their own paper. The only way that they have anything that expounds towards their side is the ones where they where they delete everybody's comment and so there's a thousand patriots or or people that are informed i should say that just smoke them and maybe there's 10 that that are part on, on the payroll or, or idiots and, and that's, that's what they've done i watched the the rallies and marches out here and we were educating the other side and watched them walk away with their heads hung half of them and the other ones that were left were were people with paychecks or family members. And yeah, I gotta say that uh, I'm encouraging everybody to understand just how evil these people are. Alex Jones did a good job exposing the Bohemian Grove, and they they sacrifice every year to the god Moloch their care, their conscience, for all of the misdeeds they do every year. And, they, and this is how wonderful these people are. They believe Lucifer is light. They believe that, um, um, that you and I are unworthy. And uh, they're monsters. They're evil. Uh, the largest church in the world and the most secret is the Luciferian church. And they believe Lucifer is light. So there you go. And it's hard for good people to realize that other people may not like them and that they would like them not to survive through this and that they are nothing but slaves in the eyes of these monsters. Well, we know how, how it ends. I know how it ends. And that's what I'm going to keep working towards a wonderful ending because it's going to happen and we will win. We will win this information war. I mean, with you, with these committees in each county, that's wonderful. The Grant County is the example. Start a Facebook page, um, you know, the voice of your county with about six, How many people is on that Grant County uh, Facebook page thing? Well, we just started, what, a week and a half ago. And was it about a week and a half ago, Becky? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago what we what you do folks is you you find through your community people that don't work off of egos that just want the truth kind of like you uh, call of duty goddess or Vicki Davis or maybe myself uh, and then you open up the Facebook or some type of social media and then you start a news agency, or maybe there's already an alternative news agency, and you start helping support that news agency and encourage them to uh, vet all their information and, and, and be held accountable to that. And, uh, the court of public opinion, to be able to uh, inform and to educate and to uh, challenge each other to the, to the information that's being brought out and get it right as much as you possibly can. And and there you go. Your committee of correspondence is the internet and within your community. And we've got all the tools. I mean, it should be, it's a lot easier than it was a couple hundred years ago too. So uh, yeah, that's a wonderful thing. Well, I thank you so much, Michael. This is a wonderful conversation. Um, Say hi at least. <laughs> hi. <laughs> no, I'm I'm here. I've just been listening. It's been good. Mm -hmm. I always learned something. Vicki Davis is one of the what best writers I've ever seen, and she makes sure she goes through painful steps to source her stuff. And uh, uh, so she's a professor. Uh, if you want to be educated, uh, go to. Um, Tell, tell everybody your website and how they can go to your information, Vicki. 
Um, my new website is The Technocratic Tyranny. you got to put the the in there. The Technocratic Tyranny. And my old website that has a lot of research is uh, channelingreality.com. Well, you've done a lot on the agenda. Uh, yeah, I've done a lot on Agenda 21, Smart Grid, uh, Foreign Trade Zones, um, North American Union. When I first started researching North American Union, it was still a conspiracy theory. And so uh, at least that's what, you know, everybody said. I was a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist but uh, <laughs> we exposed it so um this the schools you do so much with your articles it's amazing how much stuff that you put in there the one video i did i was like i've never seen anything like that before you know <laughs> yeah i kind of uh, i guess i have my own uh, style. I was a computer systems analyst programmer. So really, I, I say that I don't write articles per se. I do documentation. And so for whatever it is that I'm researching, I give you my documentation uh, on, on what it is and how it's working and who, who did what, if I know. And so it's a little different than what most people do. A little too deep for a lot of people, but um, I mean, you know, to uh, dense material, but um, I, I do it. I'm kind of like a researcher's researcher, I guess. That's what I was just thinking. I mean, because when I found your stuff, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I don't have to go any further. This is wonderful, you know. Yeah, and that was my intent, you know, to, to be able to do that. And um, all those YouTubers out there who do your research, you go to these, uh, what, what was your websites again, Vicki, tell them? Channelingreality.com, and the new one is thetechnocratictyranny.com. When you go to those websites, uh, boy, you can, you can get your research done in like no time, but yeah. That is a big deal to me anyway. So thank you so much. And what a wonderful, wonderful conversation that we've had. And um, what a great idea, Michael. I think just getting committees to tell the truth and expose the lies. This is Call of Duty Goddess signing off. And as always, I've got your six.